In this question, we have a correct Bohr diagram that's been drawn for an iron according to the octet rule. So an iron's formed to have a complete or full outer shell, as shown here. Okay, it asks us how many electrons are in each energy level of this iron. The inner energy level, which is energy level one, has one, two. And the outer energy level, energy level two, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Energy level three isn't shown in the diagram because it's empty. It has zero electrons. So we have two in our first energy level, eight in our second, and zero in our third. It asks how many electrons are in this iron in total? Two plus eight is 10. Okay, final question is asking us to identify which of the following ions could this Bohr diagram represent? So which of these ions would have this electron configuration of two electrons in the inner shell and eight electrons in the second energy level or second shell. Okay, so let's go and have a look at our periodic table. So firstly, let's find what would be the atom that has 10 electrons as a neutral atom. So looking along here, it would be neon. Neon has an atomic number of 10, which means it has 10 protons and a neutral neon atom would have 10 electrons. So we're now going to figure out if each of these listed here could have this electron configuration. So the first one is lithium plus, Li plus. So looking on our diagram of our periodic table, here's lithium over here. Lithium has three electrons and based on our pattern, it's in group one. So we know lithium would lose one electron to form an ion. So it would form a lithium plus ion, but that lithium plus ion would only have two electrons in it because it had three to start with since it had an atomic number of three minus one that's left with two. So lithium doesn't form something that looks like this. It would only have two electrons in lithium. So the answer is going to be no, that couldn't be lithium. Okay, the next option is Al plus, aluminium plus. So let's find aluminium. Uh, here it is. So aluminium is in group 13. It has 13 electrons and a neutral atom. Now it said aluminium plus. That plus means that it's lost one electron. So if it had 13 electrons to start with, it would end up with 12 electrons for aluminium plus. Well, 12 electrons is too many because on our diagram here, we've only got 10. So aluminium plus is not correct because that would have 12 electrons. Okay, next option is nitrogen three minus, N three minus. So let's find nitrogen. Here's nitrogen here. So nitrogen has seven as its atomic number, which means it has seven protons and a neutral nitrogen atom has seven electrons too. Nitrogen three minus, three minus means it's gained three electrons. So it started with seven, it would end up with eight, nine, 10 electrons. So nitrogen three minus would have 10 electrons. So that's correct. Nitrogen three minus is a possible option Yes. The last option is sulfur two minus. So let's find sulfur on here. Here's sulfur. So sulfur has atomic number 16. That means it has 16 protons and 16 electrons in a neutral atom. And the question asked about sulfur two minus. So sulfur has 16 electrons. If it became sulfur two minus, that means it's gained two electrons. So that means it would have 16, 17, 18 electrons in total. Our atom shown here only has 10 electrons. So it can't be sulfur two minus because that would have 18 electrons, which is too many. So based on that, the only 
one that this diagram could represent here is nitrogen three minus.